Hey, I have a 2000 Honda Odyssey. It's a 3.5. Now this would be sim similar to the other J series with the 3.5, 3.2, and the 3.7. Um, this one's more of a pain in the butt to get to. So basically you'd have to take off the battery, a couple 10 millimeters, you have the battery packet, and then um, you'll have the battery tray. So for the battery tray, it sits right there. You have two 12s, so one right there. All right, so yeah, the second bolt's right here, and then we have one side bolt. You gotta take off that one right there. And then you have another bolt that's right there, so you gotta go under the vehicle, lift it up, and take off the splash shield that's under there, and then you can get to it. Um, it'll be more easier to get to it. So once we get off that battery tray, it should just come right up. Oh, and then, um, shouldn't come right up. So you have this little connector right here, this little bracket right here, it's being held on by 10 millimeter. You can get it where my finger's at, so you would loosen it up. Then you'll have this clip right here, and then you'll have these, you'll have these two or well, three little connectors, so one right here, that one, and then that one. For these guys, you'd go from the back, push down, and then this should slide out. Same thing for this one, and for this one, same thing. So you just push down and it'll slide out away from that. Then, um, when you want to get out the solenoid, this is the transmission control solenoid. It's a square valve body. Um, we're going to go ahead and take off this 10 millimeter right here that's, held, that's holding on the transmission line because that one is sitting right under it. So, let me show you. So, right there, you see that black, this little one right here? So, that goes right there to that 17 millimeter bolt. So, either you can take it off or whatever. Um, you take off your intake tube. I took off the mass airflow sensor just because it's easier and took off the couple 8 millimeter bolts that are holding on that um, and just took off the hoses. All right, so next, um, getting into the story, since we have the battery off, now's a good time to test it. You can get these wires at Harbor Freight. Um, they're for like three or four bucks. And basically, the first thing what we need to do is that we need to test this solenoid. And so by testing the solenoid, um, we need to see if it's actually actuating. So let me get this down right there so you can see it. So right here, we're gonna have a terminal, positive or negative or negative or positive, doesn't really matter because you're just powering up the solenoid. So we have two connectors. We have the black one and then the brown one. So right here, you're gonna go ahead and pull, you'll pull these out. So they have alligator clips so we can just clip them right in. So we'll pull one right here to clip that. And you need to make sure when you're doing this, you gotta make sure that these guys are not gonna make contact. So, right there. So when we add the battery power, you see how they're not making any contact? So we know we are good. So, all right. So this is where our solenoid plunger is. And we need to, right here, you can see it move. There's like a little indentation. You see that little lip right there? You should be able to see that move. So we're gonna put one on the negative and then one on the positive. So you can see right there. And so when we do this, you're gonna hear a click and you need to see it move. Even though you can hear it click, you need to see the plunger move. I've had it where to the point where these guys will click, but they do not move. So one on negative and then one on positive. So you see how that's moving? So you'll do that a few times, do it rapidly. So yeah, so obviously you would do that very fast, you tap it fast, and then the reason why you wanna tap it fast is because you wanna make sure that that solenoid, actually, if it seizes up once, then, you, then you're gonna replace it, I don't care, you're gonna replace it. So the faster you do it, kinda like a little video game. All right, cool, so we know that one's working. Um, well, actually, this is actually the bad one um, because that wasn't working earlier, but I think I probably banged it or something. So we'll put one right there, and then we'll put the other one on the brown one, and we'll test that out. It's funny how one works and one doesn't. So we'll put one on negative. So you can see that plunger move. All right, so that's moving. Like as of right now, it's working perfectly fine, but earlier again, 
it wasn't working. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this anyways. These guys are expensive, but like I said, I already tested it out. And then right here, let's say if your solenoid is good. One thing you need to check, right here, these little pipes, these are your filters. So you need to pull these up. And anytime, let's say if you do take this off, you need to replace these gaskets and the O-ring. I don't care what you say or whatever. <laughs> you gotta replace them. So, so you need to replace these gaskets, whatever, but you need to look inside right here and you need to clean these up. Cause sometimes these guys get clogged and they won't pass up um, fluid. And make sure that the filter's pointing down. So this one's pretty clean. Um, make sure you replace all the o-rings and the gasket trust me you need to replace it because if not it's gonna cause a leak and then you won't you'll lose build up pressure all right so um, I wanted to show you this one that I pulled out too uh, let me see if I can get this to focus if I can get this to focus so right there see all that little sludge build up right there so this guy's getting clogged, so you're gonna lose a lot of pressure. So you can see it right there. So right there, it's only the center. So obviously, I gotta clean this up. We gotta clean it up with brake cleaner, and then also um, make sure when you're taking these off that you make sure you know where you put them. Put them in order. Um, the one right here, the one on the left is gonna be my longest one. The one in the middle is gonna be the short one. And then there's like one more right here. That, there's four in total, so there's one right there. That one has no filter. That one you don't care about. Um, let's see. This one, you just grab these and pull them up. So the two left, the two upper ones are going to be the short ones. Um, but now this one's good too. So you see how this is nice and clear. So yeah, this is nice and clear, and then the other one's pretty pretty dirty. Uh, so we're gonna clean that up, and then yeah, thought I might have showed you guys that too. So that can cause the code too as well. Um, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.